Welcome to this lesson of measurements where we introduce base quantities and derived quantities. In this lesson, we will look at what is a physical quantity, what are base quantities and their associated units in the SI system of units, and finally, what are derived quantities and derived units. So what is a physical quantity? In physics, a physical quantity is a physical property of a phenomenon, body or substance that can be quantified by a measurement. This means the physical quantity can be expressed as the combination of a value that is expressed by a number and a unit. To illustrate what a physical quantity is, let us look at an example of a physical quantity such as acceleration. We note that this acceleration expressed here has a numerical value of 9.81 and has units of meter per second squared. Hence, this is a physical quantity. So why do we want to introduce physical quantities in physics? This is because physics is an experimental science. When we quantify our observations, we are able to formulate our observations into laws and equations that will allow us to make predictions of future phenomena. In general, all physical quantities can be classified into base quantities and derived quantities. There are three common base quantities in the international units of system, also known as the SI units. They are mass, time, and length. In all, there are actually seven base quantities and with them, seven associated base units. Besides the three base quantities that we mentioned earlier, there are also temperature, current, amount of substance, and luminous intensity. The first six base quantity and units in this table will be found in the A-level syllabus. Note, there are some older texts that will use the terms dimension and dimensional analysis. Dimensions are not units. They are symbols that are associated with the physical quantities. But we no longer use them in A-levels. Rather, we will use unit analysis when solving problems. So what about derived quantities and units? What are those? All other quantities beyond the SI base quantities are known as derived quantities. From the table above, you can see the leftmost column lists the seven SI base quantities and their units that we have stated earlier. The rest of the two columns list some physical quantities that are not amongst the seven base quantities. For example, volume, force, pressure. These are all known as derived quantities. The units that are associated with these derived quantities are known as derived units. Let us now focus on a particular derived quantity in column 2. Suppose acceleration again. Note, the units of acceleration is meter per second squared. Hence, we see that for derived quantities, their units are expressed in terms of a combination of products and quotients of base units. There are also some derived units with special names and symbols, like force has a special name for its derived unit, which is called Newton. Column 3 shows some of these SI derived units. You may encounter some of them in the A-level syllabus. Note that SI derived units itself can also be expressed as products and quotients of base units. For example, Newton can be expressed as kg meter per second squared. We will look at how to do that further in one of our video examples later. With this, we have come to our lesson on base quantities and derived quantities where we have examined what a physical quantity is, 
what are base quantities and units, and what are derived quantities and derived units.